Uh, hey guys, so right now I'm facing a bit of an issue whenever I'm saving uh, this information. It'll let me show you my case type. So here in this process, the user registration, uh, this I have that view that, that I just showed you. And then here I have this uh, saveable data page that, that I want to use this step. So pretty much uh, the the problem is the next one. So here I say first name, uh, address line one, username and password. So when I click submit, it shows me this error. It pretty much says that it cannot save an instance of class this. Uh, it belongs to a fully exposed table. Then this is the table in database customer data but the in uh, instance has property which does not correspond to columns and it tells me that the column is username so i'm not entirely sure why uh, wh wh what the problem is uh, i have found a bit of a solution and to be honest i'm not entirely sure why why exactly the username is the one that is uh, causing the issue? Well, so uh, let me show you the uh, the solution first, and then I will show you uh, how I, I configured the, uh, the, the the data transform to save to this user saveable. So the solution is actually quite simple. <laughs> you you just have to go to users here. And inside the sysadmin, you are going to open the class and you are going to open this class. So here it, we are going to go to external mappings and here we are going to add that, uh, that field that is causing issues. So here the column name is going to be username and the property is going to be as well username so now we click on save and i'm going to close uh, this issue so let me close this uh this is the this is our data type for users it, it doesn't have any information so let's run again our case type So now, uh, now that we have added that the username to the uh, mapping, uh, it doesn't cause any issue anymore. So I don't know, that's the solution that, that, that I found uh, researching on the internet. There's not much information about this issue, but uh, that's what I found. So here, if I uh, refresh this, So here it is, uh, Daniel, uh, Main Street, and here is the username and the password. So uh, the configuration for this saveable uh, data page is here. Uh, we have this uh, saveable data page step, uh, and it uh, here we are using this uh, user saveable data page. A PYGUID -P -P is not required here because I I made it not required. Uh, you can do the same here in parameters. Uh, here in required, it, it was in yes, you just move it to no. Then here in the definition, uh, we go down here to the data source uh, section and here. It's going to be in lookup, lookup, so you just have to move it to data transform. And here I created this data transform, so let's go in it. And here is the data transform. So uh, I'm I'm updating this uh, saveable data page uh, with values from P P Y work page, and the property is user 
registration that has all these fields. So for, to use this, you have to actually uh, declare it over here in pages and classes. So this is the by work page, and then here is our uh, case type. So it's under uh, our app and under work, and there is our uh, case types. So that's pretty much uh, how we configure this savable data page. There's not much to it, so so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I hope that I hope that this uh, short video about resolving this issue uh, was helpful if you are uh, having the same issues. Um, yep.